I'm not saying you should make Fenty Skins Fat Water. But if you did want to make the Fenty Fat Water, here's how. Hi everyone, I'm Elise. If you've ever been curious about what exactly goes into those hyped up game-changing cosmetics, then this I Tried Making series is for you. So let's just get straight into it. So the first ingredient in this fat water is, unsurprisingly, water. Water makes up about 90% of most toners, so you are usually going to see it as the first ingredient in most formulas. The next ingredient is witch hazel. That's actually a pretty controversial ingredient. Witch hazel is high in a particular antioxidant called tannins that can constrict the skin, temporarily reducing the appearance of pores. Now for some people, they find witch hazel to be incredibly drying on the skin, but it really does depend on your unique skin type. Moving on, we have butylene glycol, which is a powerful hermectant that attracts water to your skin. And we also have the vitamin B3. So there are quite a few ingredients in Fenty Fat Water, so I'm going to start making it in sections. First, let's start by mixing together the witch hazel and butylene glycol. Now, if you're wondering what the big deal is when it comes to witch hazel and whether or not you should include it, I give you the full run through and things you need to be aware of, especially if you have sensitive skin, over at wholeelise.com. You can also find the full written recipe in case this tutorial convinces you to try making your own fat water. Links will be in the description box below and at the end of this video. The ingredients also list vitamin B3. It comes as this fine white powder that completely dissolves when mixed with water. Pour the B3 into the glycol and witch hazel and mix until it's dissolved and the solution is clear. Vitamin B3 has some amazing benefits for your skin, like cell rejuvenation, smoothing and evening out texture, oil balancing, and just an all round great ingredient to include in your skincare. Once it's mixed, we can move on to botanical extracts. This is the point where the ingredients go crazy. Lemon myrtle extract, green tea extract, cactus extract, fig extract, ginkgo biloba extract, some sort of resin extract, another fruit extract, basically all the extracts. Now don't get me wrong, botanical extracts can have amazing benefits for your skin, but in such small quantities, you might not be getting as many benefits as you might think. I measured out green tea extract and then fig extract before realizing I need to switch to a pipette so that they actually make it into the container. Measure out ginkgo biloba extract, which has this wonderful deep amber hue. Extracts are like super concentrated forms of botanical essence. They come in as many varieties as there are plants, and depending on which ones you choose, they'll have an array of benefits for your skin. Look, I did the best that I could with these ingredients, but I'm a one woman show who has the time for eight different botanical extracts. So I'm just using the ones that I could actually get a hold of. And here we have a rather ominous looking ingredient, but it's just the thickener called Carboma. If you watched my last tutorial on how to make Eco Styler Gel, don't worry, that will be linked in the description box below. Then you'll know that we also use Carbona to create a luscious thick hair gel with great hold but here we'll only need to use a tiny fraction of carbama. It's a white fluffy powder that will thicken when mixed with water at a certain pH. It gives the fat water that signature silky feel and of course its distinctive thickened texture. Carbama is a synthetic thickener that really doesn't have any specific benefits for your skin, but it does improve the sensory feel and make a more luxurious toner. Once measured out, add the powder thickener to the water from earlier and mix thoroughly until it's dispersed. By now, the ingredients are starting to rack up. So for more information on making your own toners, including how to scale this recipe, measurement conversions, and where I purchase ingredients, click the link in the description box below. And then we have This is sodium hydroxide. A quick Google search will associate it with severe burns, eye damage, drain cleaner, being highly corrosive. But hear me out. Sodium hydroxide is a key ingredient in cosmetics and it's vital in the soap making industry. It can also be used as a pH adjuster. I'll explain more about that. So definitely keep watching because it, it does need some explaining. Sodium hydroxide comes in either small crystalline pellets or as a liquid solution, and it is highly corrosive. Seriously guys, I need you wearing gloves, goggles, and long sleeves. So why are we using this again? Well, in order to get a super thick, luscious toner, we need to use the thickener Carbama. 
but that only works in alkaline solutions. Fortunately, sodium hydroxide is highly alkaline and can be used to adjust the pH. Now, if sodium hydroxide is a little out of your comfort zone, you can use TEA, which is another alkaline pH adjuster, although you should still wear gloves. Begin by checking the pH of our water and carbonate solution. You can see that it's on the acidic side, which is why it hasn't thickened. Add a couple drops of either TEA or sodium hydroxide and mix to make sure that it's evenly distributed. If the pH is alkaline enough, you'll notice the mixture thickening as you stir. That's more like it. We've got that thick, silky texture of fat water. Albeit a little anemic because we haven't added our active ingredients yet. It even has those tiny bubbles suspended throughout. Check the pH again and oh, it's a little high, but I'll adjust that later on so that it's more in line with our skin's pH. And therein lies the secret as to how the water gets fat. It's just a basic liquid to which you add a powder thickener. Um, don't worry, the rest of the ingredients are pretty standard. Um, and finally, some red dye to give it this pretty color. So now that we know what's in it, let's see if we can make it. So to recap, our DIY fat water ingredients thus far are distilled water, witch hazel, butylene glyco, carbama, vitamin B3, green tea extract, fig extract, and ginkgo biloba extract. I appreciate most of you are probably not gonna go out and make this, but it's interesting to see what goes into products like these and how they're made, at least to me. To our now thickened water, pour in the witch hazel, glyco and B3 mixture from earlier and mix until thoroughly combined. To that, pour in all the extracts that we measured out earlier. And while it's not quite fat water's rosy pink, the natural colours of botanical extracts makes our recreation a pretty pale amber. At this point, I'm going to adjust the pH again with a little citric acid, so that it's not so alkaline. All we need to do is sprinkle a tiny bit of citric acid. I'm aiming for a pH of 6. If it's too acidic, the toner will return to its original watery consistency, so it is a balancing act. I go into more detail about pH adjusting over at holalise.com, so definitely check that out. You can find the link at the top of the screen. Once you're happy with the pH, add in your preservative of choice and mix thoroughly to ensure that your DIY fat water has a long and healthy shelf life, around 6 months. As you can see, our DIY fat water has the same almost jelly-like consistency thanks to the thickener that we used. But you can make a fat water style toner using natural thickeners. So if you find all the ingredients used in this recreation to be a little overwhelming, I highly recommend that you start with my natural toner recipe. The full tutorial will be linked at the end of this video and also in the description. But for those of you brave enough to try, this recipe is definitely worth recreating if you're into your skincare. Toners are some of the easiest and most beneficial products to make yourselves. So if you're looking for a great recipe to start with, then check out my DIY Hyaluronic Acid Toner to learn how to make your very own fat water. As always, you can find the full recipe at holalise.com and subscribe for even more hair and skincare tutorials.